from this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. There is something about the vastness, and of course, as Carl pathetically described, the, our true circumstances on the pale blue dot. Yes, we may be little guys, but we don't think small. The Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. Think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph they could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Carl was a kind of prophet, not in a supernatural sense, but a human who lived so fully and loved life so much, and other people and other beings, that he was able to see deeply into the future. Our posturings our imagined self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our stand. I think of Carl taking the revelations of science to heart and caring about the future that we can still have on the pale blue dot. It has been said that astronomy is a humbling and character-building experience. There is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home 